Monster Hunter World's weapon progression paths are much simpler than previous games, but there are some standout paths you may or may not notice. This guide series is going to focus on weapon upgrades to take you through low rank and high rank as painlessly as possible for each weapon type. Obviously, since we're talking about flying through the early game, we don't want to sit and farm monsters for days. You will need to farm a bit following these paths, but hopefully not too much. The majority of the parts also come from easier monsters, which should make progress fairly painless. You need to hoard everything you come across. If you see a mining node, hit it. Bone pile, take everything. The last thing you want to do is have to go randomly find some bones or minerals for an upgrade. Everything you gather will be useful, and you'll save time by gathering as much as you can along the way. Any questionable materials, I will be providing where to get them as we talk about the upgrades themselves. Lance is one of the best defensive weapons in the game. Don't misunderstand and assume it's weak. It has the ability to stick to monsters like glue and continually deal damage throughout the entirety of a fight. The Lance progression path is very easy and clean. The short answer is... Build the Kulu Lance to bridge you to the Toby Kadachi path, which will be adequate to take you to Nergigante, and then you can pick up his Lance. Now, for the long answer. The Iron Lance one you start with conveniently is part of our required path. Upgrade it as soon as possible to an Iron Lance 2 by using 2 Iron Ore. You'll use this to take on the Great Jagras, followed by the Kulu Yaku. Once you've beaten Kulu Yaku, upgrade your Iron Lance 2 into a Kulu Lance 1 by using 1 Kulu Yaku Beak, 2 Kulu Yaku Hide, and 3 Kulu Yaku Scale. Make sure that you build this, you'll be using it for a while. Continue your mandatory hunts starting with Pookie Pookie. Optionally, if you prefer, you can build Pookie Pookie's Poison Lance here. It has less raw damage and loses affinity for poison damage. The Kulu Lance is better overall and it's my preference. Once you unlock Wildspire Wastes, hunt Baroth and Juratotus. Continue with your mandatory story hunt of Toby Kadachi. Save the materials, you won't be able to build the Thunder Lance until you've gotten to the Coral Highlands. Continue progressing and take out Anjanath. After defeating Zora Magdaros, don't worry, it's a set piece and you can't really lose, you'll gain access to the Coral Highlands. In the Coral Highlands, you're forced into an expedition to explore. You'll want to mine here to get Dragonite Ore. Mine five as soon as possible. Also try and get three Coral Crystal, you'll need it a bit later. You do actually have a choice to make here. You can continue using the Kulu Lance, or you can upgrade it into the Thunder Lance. Upgrading to the Thunder Lance will be a raw damage spike and you'll gain Thunder Damage, but you'll lose the affinity of the Kulu Lance. Upgrade your Kulu Lance 1 into a Thunder Lance 1 by using 5 Dragonite Ore, 1 Toby Kadachi Electrode, 2 Toby Kadachi Claw, and 1 Electro Sack. Continue progressing by taking out Paolumu. Afterwards, hunt Rataban. If you're still using the Kulu Lance 1, upgrade it to a Kulu Lance 2 by using 3 Rataban Scale, 2 Kulu Yaku Beak, 2 Kulu Yaku Plume, and 3 Boulder Bone. Boulder Bones can be gathered from Bone Piles and Wildspire Wastes. Then you'll have to take on Legiana. Legiana is weakest to Thunder, so the Thunder Lance 1 is preferred, but the damage on Kulu Lance 2 with its high affinity and Thunder Lance 1 will be pretty close. After Legiana, you'll hopefully get 2 Monster Bone Plus. Use them to upgrade your Thunder Lance 1 into a Thunder Lance 2 by using 2 Monster Bone Plus, 2 Toby Kadachi Electrode, 2 Toby Kadachi Membrane, and 3 Coral Crystal. Coral Crystal can be mined from mining nodes in the Coral Highlands. If you're using the Thunder Lance 2, this is your last upgrade for low rank. If you're using the Kulu Lance 1, you'll have one more upgrade. Hunt Odegeron as part of standard story progression. Use 2 Odegeron Claw, 2 Kulu Yaku Beak, 4 Kulu Yaku Plume, and 3 Warped Bones to upgrade your Kulu Lance 2 into a Kulu Lance 3. This has lower raw than the Thunder Lance 2, which is why that's the preferred path for the rest of low rank. Continue progressing by taking out the last monsters in low rank, Rathalos and Diablos in whatever order you like. After beating the Zora Magdro set piece and killing a deceptively strong Pookie Pookie, you'll gain access to high rank quests. Congratulations, the baby gloves are coming off. Our immediate goal in high rank is a weapon upgrade to compensate for the increased health of monsters with a long term goal of bringing our sharpness to the next level. You have a couple of options with Lance once you hit high rank. You'll want to upgrade your Kulu Lance or Thunder Lance immediately by hunting Kulu Yaku and or Toby Kadachi. Toby Kadachi is preferred as it represents a larger power spike in this early stage, but it will have less sharpness than the Kulu Lance. If you're using the Kulu weapons, hunt Kulu Yaku first. Upgrade your Kulu Lance 3 into a Kulu Hasta 1 by using 3 Kulu Yaku Beak Plus, 4 Kulu Yaku Hide Plus, and 6 Kulu Yaku Scale Plus. If you're a boss and using the Toby Kadachi weapons, hunt Toby Kadachi immediately. Upgrade your Thunder Lance 2 into a Lightning Spire 1 by using 5 Carbolite Ore, 4 Toby Kadachi Scale Plus, 3 Toby Kadachi Pelt Plus, and 3 Vespoid Inner Wing. Carbolite Ore can be mined from any high rank mining node, and Vespoid Inner Wings can be carved from Vespoids. Use Red Pits on your Slinger to avoid breaking them apart, rendering them uncarvable. 
Unfortunately, these will have to tide you over until after you've beaten the Pink Rathian. Damage output will be comparable. Kulu has to 1 gains a sliver of blue sharpness and positive affinity, whereas the Lightning Spire 1 has higher base damage with Thunder Element but no affinity. Make your choice, take down Pink Rathian, and gain access to the Elder's Recess. Once you reach the Elder's Recess, you have three options for lances to prepare you for Nergigante. These will all be fairly close with some minor nuances between them. Mine in the Elder's Recess for Fusiamore. Upgrade your Lightning Spire 1 into a Lightning Spire 2 by using 5 Fusiamore, 2 Toby Kadachi Electrode Plus, 4 Toby Kadachi Membrane, and 3 Thunder Sack. You actually have two upgrade options for the Kulu Lance. You can continue with the Kulu Lance. You'll have to hunt an Odagaron and gather brutal bones from bone piles in the Elder's Recess. Upgrade your Kulu Hasta 1 into a Kulu Hasta 2 by using 2 Odagaron Claw Plus, 4 Kulu Yaku Beak Plus, 3 Kulu Yaku Plume Plus, and 3 Brutal Bones. In the Elder's Recess, you can now hunt Dodogama. You can upgrade your Kulu Hasta 1 into a Gamma Pile Bunker 1 by using 4 Dodogama Talon, 6 Dodogama Scale Plus, and 4 Dodogama Hide Plus. Your next mandatory hunt is going to be Nergigante. Any of these weapons will be viable, but Nergigante is weakest to Thunder Element, so the Lightning Spire 2 is the preference. The other two lances have superior blue sharpness at the cost of lower base damage. As is the custom, Nergigante's lance is incredible. Build it by going through the ore path. Build an Iron Lance 1 and upgrade it to an Iron Lance 2, then into an Iron Lance 3, into a Steel Lance 1, into a Steel Lance 2, into a Steel Lance 3, into a Chrome Lance 1. Now upgrade it to a Nurgle Impaler by using 3 Nergigante Talon, 4 Nergigante Regrowth Plate, 2 Nergigante Tail, and 2 Nergigante Carapace. Congratulations, you now have a weapon that's completely capable of getting you through the rest of the game and one of the best lances. This will be adequate for taking out the remaining Elder Dragons. After taking out Xenojiva, you can upgrade the Nurgle Impaler one more time into Perdition's Hand by using 2 Xenojiva Horns, 5 Nergigante Horn Plus, 5 Nergigante Talon, and 1 Nergigante Gem. The gems will make these difficult. If you go for one lance, go for Perdition's Hand because of its high raw damage, good blue sharpness, and reasonable dragon element and elder seal. It will serve as a great general purpose weapon. You can also finish upgrading the Kulu Lance, or pick up the Odegaron Lance and Arena Lance if you want a raw lance. Thanks for watching. If you thought this video was helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel. Guides for the rest of the weapons are on the way.